Now let's talk about left and right hand limits. Let's start with this example. Let's take f of x, which is a piecewise defined function. It's x squared if x is less than 1. It's 2 if x is equal to 1. And it's 4 minus x if 1 is less than x, or x is greater than 1. Let's first consider the limit from the left. That means that we're coming from this direction. And what that means is we think about what happens as we come along the curve from this direction, and we want to find this limit. Let's see what that means in terms of this function. So we're only going to consider x less than 1. And the way we write that down is we write down the limit as x approaches 1. And then after the 1, we put a little minus sign. So that minus sign doesn't mean that the 1 is negative. That minus sign, since it occurs after the 1, means we're coming from the left or that x is less than 1. And we want the limit as x approaches, to one, approaches 1 from the left of f of x. And what that's going to equal to, it's going to equal the limit as x approaches 1 from the left. And since that minus sign means x is less than 1, we only consider the part here where x is less than 1. So we use the part of the function that's x squared. That is, we use this part of the function. So we're going to take the limit as x approaches to 1 from the left of x squared. Well, that's easy enough. That's just going to be the, equal to 1 squared. We just plug in 1. Remember, the minus doesn't mean minus 1. It's still plus 1. And that's equal to 1. And so the limit as x approaches 1 from the left is just 1. So now let's consider the limit as we come from the right. So that means we're coming from this direction. And that means we're going to follow along this graph and see what that limit is. So we do the same thing, except this time we're going to write down the limit as x approaches 1, and we're going to put a plus sign after it to indicate that we're coming from the right, or x greater than 1. So we take the limit as x approaches 1 plus for x greater than 1. We only consider x greater than 1. And that means that we're going to take the limit as x approaches 1 plus, but we'll use this part of the function. x greater than 1, 1 less than x, it's the same thing. So we're going to use the 4 minus x since x is greater than 1. So in here goes 4 minus x. To take the limit as x goes to 1 plus, we just put in 1 to the 4 minus x, and we get 4 minus 1, and that's equal to 3. So the limit as we come from the right is just going to be 3. Notice that this intermediate value 2, the value of the function when we plug in 1 is going to be equal to 2, has no effect on the left and the right-hand limits. The left-hand limit is 1, the right-hand limit is 3, the value of the function is 2. The thing to remember is, if we take the limit as x approaches a and we have a minus sign after that, we only consider x less than a. It doesn't mean a is negative, it means x is less than a. Or if we take the limit as x approaches a and we have a plus sign in it, we only consider x greater than a. That's the basic idea of left and right-hand limits.